so my name is Hassan Yusuf Ali. I am 26 years old and I am attempting to be the first Sri Lankan in history to run a marathon on all of the seven continents. Um, a little bit about me, I've uh, graduated from the British school in Colombo and then I did a double major in management and marketing uh, at the University of Melbourne um, where I attended Norman College and uh, I've completed uh, uh, five full marathons right uh, up to this date, including one in the full Ironman, which is a 3.86 kilometer swim, 180 kilometer bike ride, and a full marathon after that, uh, which requires, which you do in a 17 hour time limit, uh, with individual time cutoffs as well. Um, and, uh, and you get the Ironman title if you finish it. So, um, yeah, and I'm, uh, my next goal is uh, to, to become the first, yeah, like I said before, to become the first Sri Lankan in history to run around all seven continents. So, I, yeah, this, I always talk about this, my why, like why I wanted to do this. And, and, uh, and the main reason is because I wanted to achieve something, uh, something amazing for my country uh, by being the first Sri Lankan in history to complete this potentially. Uh, then the other, the other, the other why was that I, I, I'm a big believer in health and fitness and sport and um, and nutrition, and I wanted to help inspire other people to 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 uh, lead an active lifestyle and to get fit, and and in the process of achieving these goals, achieve also your life goals. Uh, and for my career, I want to be involved in this in this. And then the, the third reason is um, I'm helping raise money for the uh, Boston Marathon. I'm raising seven thousand five hundred dollars for. Uh, for trauma patients of the Boston Marathon uh, bombings in 2013. And finally, a personal reason is, I just think this is an amazing way to travel and see the world. I mean, it's, uh, it's a fantastic opportunity for me to, uh, to, to, to uh, achieve something and then also see different parts of the world while, while doing that. So what I do um, every week is on Monday I do an easy run which is about 5 kilometers. On Tuesday and on Thursday I do a strength and conditioning workout uh, which is like 45 minutes in and out of the gym but it's really intense. Uh, like high, high reps, uh, lots of circuits, supersets uh, and basically it's like a, it, 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 within those two days I cover all, all my muscle groups. Um, I do a lot of, uh, on those days I also do a lot of flexibility and, and, uh, and stretching as well. Um, and on, t on Wednesday and Friday I do an intense run which is about 10 kilometers uh, done at specific intensities of heart rate and on Saturday I take a rest day but on that rest day I usually do some, I try to do, incorporate some cross training so I do either swimming or cycling or uh, I, I do yoga, I go for a massage or I, um, I'm, or, or I take complete rest depending on how intense that week has been and on Sunday which is my long run day I do a, a long run uh, two hours plus and I run anywhere between uh, 15 kilometers 20, uh, 15 kilometers plus usually I go up between 21 to 26 kilometers if possible and um, yeah that's about it that's the secret sauce <laughs> so for my diet I don't have a diet per se but I do do five I follow five simple rules and, and basically I eat five small meals a day five to six small meals a day I eat an equal portion of protein and carbohydrates in each meal. I, and those proteins and carb carbohydrates are usually lean proteins and complex carbohydrates. Um, and I eat my, uh, those five meals um, every two to three hours. That's my third rule. And my fourth rule is I season my foods with low salt, sh sugar, uh, uh, and fat, uh, f uh, fat seasonings. Uh, so I'll be, I'll, I won't be using things like mayonnaise, and extra. I'll be using things like pepper and, and cayenne pepper and cinnamon and things like that. Um, and for the fifth rule, I do this 80, I have an 80-20% rule. So 80% of the time I'll eat like this, so 35 meals of the week I'll eat in this sort of structure. Uh, so, uh, sorry, out of the 35 meals I eat a week, 28 would be in this sort of structure. And then seven small meals, I'm, I'm able to go out with my friends and I, I'm able to, you know, live a balanced lifestyle. So this way it becomes more of a lifestyle than, than than you know, an, uh, then uh, an obsession where I have to eat every single meal correctly. Um, also, on the day on the, on the race the day before race week, I I do I carb load, so I eat a lot of carbohydrates prior. I keep my protein level constant, and I keep my carbohydrate level. Uh, I make it go higher. And on the day of the race, I eat only liquid nutrition.
So I things from I I take gels uh, which contain electrolytes, protein, uh, electrolytes, carbohydrates, uh, sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, and then a little bit of caffeine as well. <laughs> So, I mean, I guess the reason uh, what I do is I, um, you have to know your why when you're starting. Uh, you have to know, and, and the motivation has to, become, has to be intrinsic first. You have to know why you're doing it, and what I do is, before I start any goal, I write down what I'm doing and why I'm doing it, and that way, when the hard moments come, I, I, I look back upon that sheet of paper or, or the document, and I, and I, and I, um, and I think about that. I think about you know, the reasons why I started it. And th those reasons, if, if sufficient enough in, uh, for me, I mean, for me, they're sufficient enough. So they're, they're, um, they're enough fuel to keep me motivated in the long term as well. I think that uh, the main thing is to start, start small and start slow and then eventually build up. Uh, you can't run a marathon. You can't learn to run a marathon overnight. It, it is, it is uh, you do take time to do it. Uh, but the main thing is you have it in your mind that you want to. It's, I think running a marathon or achieving something or doing an Ironman or achieving something, something big starts with small steps, but you have to have the vision in your mind that oh, I'm looking at the bigger picture. I'm looking to achieve the, the big goal. Um, so you have to start with the mindset of, of thinking you can do it before you even begin because it, that is absolutely key. It's more in the mind than in the body, to be honest. So I would like to thank my, uh, my, my family, uh, my parents, my grandparents, uh, my wife as well, who's extremely supportive and gives me all the emotional support that I need in order to do this. Uh, my sponsors as well, they have been absolutely helpful in, in everything I've done. Um, and and uh, I, yeah, that's about it.